But what's the font? So the font. Uh, this question is easy. Ubuntu Nerd font. Actually, Ubuntu Mono. <laughs> so here, let's open up our fonts. Uh, I'm using Pop OS here so we can go into the font viewer uh, to drag a font. Wait, I need to find a font. Um, <laughs> where's the font? There it is, font manager. So, wow, it's updating the database. Look at all those fonts. So uh, we're going to go find uh, search for the family. Uh, Ubuntu Mono. Uh, you know, people obsess over this stuff like this. You, if you're going to get this, by the way, uh, I'll show you how to go get it. But you can go out. Let's go find it. So Ubuntu. Whoops. Uh, Ubuntu Mono nerd font and you can actually this is how I get it. you can put this on Windows too I've installed this in Windows in my Windows terminal and let's go down uh, Ryan there is Ryan Ryan Onassis this is his this is the font, font repository here I'll I'll show you the actual location so it's uh, there you go I'll put it in chat uh, it's R Y A N O A I S I S Ryan Oasis nerd fonts and I'll paste that. Oops, wrong one. And there you go. So, so that's it. <laughs> How do you get it? Well, if you if you want to if you go down through this, you can find all of the fonts. Uh, why why a nerd font, by the way? Well, the nerd fonts have got all these extra glyphs in them, so that if I ever did want to use the one, uh, it would work out. They also have uh, they have really great uh, emoji support. Uh, the thing is, that I found interesting is that I this actually works in Windows too. So it's got much stronger uh, emoji support than for that sort of thing. Um, and so yeah, and where is it? But glyph support. Uh, so the one I specifically have is Go Mono. No, not not Go. That's not it. What is this one? I haven't seen that one before. What is that about? probably get that and just look at it anyway there's like tons of fonts here and you can come here you can actually download the font right from the site you don't even have to you know clone it or anything so i console a lot of that used to be popular for really really a long time uh mono i guess ubuntu mono is probably there we go ubuntu nerd font ubuntu nerd, nerd font these two get mixed up all the time but they uh are not the same thing now you have to do them all and, and I went in here and I just downloaded in the complete, I downloaded uh, on my Windows machine, on my, my Windows machine, I downloaded the Windows compatible ones and I downloaded this one, not the one with mono in the name. Just for your information, I downloaded both fonts that are exactly the same file. So I don't know why that is, maybe just because of the name. Um, I did this, this one, actually yeah, specifically, yeah. This is the one I did for my Pop! OS system. And this is or my, you know, the other one. So that's where you get them. You got to do them all. You got to make sure to get, to get, to get all of them. You have to get, to get the regular, regular italic bold and bold italic. When you download those things, put them on your system and then just, you know, tell your terminal to use it. It's that, it's that easy. It's not that hard. Uh, but that, that is the font. I, I really, really love it. Uh, I've been looking at fonts for a very long time. Uh, Consolata was a really good one that I liked for a long time, uh, but on Windows, but I don't use that. The uh, Cascadia font that's the default in the new Windows terminal is not ugly, uh, but I've gotten so used. It, that's the font, and what and what is uh, what is my background? I'll show you how to do the background later if you want to know how to do it, but we'll talk about that another day. This is just Groovebox theme, and okay, so let's talk about font size. So I am running at Ubuntu Nerd Font Mono 30 uh, and on my 42 inch Vizio television screen um, that makes it, uh, so I can get this, that makes it 95 columns. And I, I've been spending a lot of time looking into that because I now have it synchronized to my laptop so that when I tmux from my laptop in, the, the fonts are not messed up and they stay the same and you can see the same thing. So a lot of times I do stream from my laptop. I'm streaming from another computer and I'm Tmux into that computer so that you can watch it. And that's what's up with the fonts. That's why I care about the fonts because <laughs> I want a good consistent font. That's all.